Welcome to DAP Talks. This is Brady at Hedera, and we're exploring the future of decentralized applications. In this episode, we chat with Alicia, co-founder and CTO at Otrify. Their vision is to create tracking and transparency in the organic foods industry for both producers and consumers. Let's learn more. Today we have uh, Alicia Wynn, who is the CTO of Otrify with us. Thanks for uh, joining us, Alicia. Thanks for having me here for this um, interview as well. So to start things off, could you give us a quick overview of um, within the, the organic food supply chain space, what kinds of um, if problems exist out there today that you're finding? Yes. So uh, one of the problem with the organic food supply chain is that so in order for us to actually identify a product as organic, all information that we have is just through a sticker. And that sticker doesn't actually tell us a lot, right? So, for example, the uh, the standard of being organic in the USA versus the standard of being organic in Australia, they can be completely different. And for us as a consumers, because we always spend a little extra to buy organic food. So I don't think that st- sticker is enough for us to actually justify the amount of money that we spend. And there's a demand for more transparency, for more like for, for more information about whether that food is organic or not and how has it been raised? Is it like healthy or is it like sustainable for the environment, etc.? And that is actually the, the biggest demand that we've been facing. And that's how we started the Ultrafire journey. Awesome. So really it's uh, the problem that exists is people need to be able to trust maybe where their foods come from uh, and where they've been. Is that pretty yep. accurate? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um, so could you give us a quick overview of um, the Otrify project and how it solves that problem using uh, distributed ledger technologies? Yep. So uh, to start with, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background of how we started like the Otrify as well. Is um, So roughly around like last year, um, so originally I, I live in Australia and I spent like maybe 10 years here in Australia. So last year we, we were going to like Canada for like a business trip. And that's where I met our co-founder, Lucas, who has been like in the organic food, food uh, supply chain for industry for like a long time already. And talking to him and hearing all of the problems that he's been facing with organic food, in, in general and the supply chain management in particular, we figure out that okay, with the skill set that we have and with the technology, the blockchains nowadays that is currently as it is, I think I think we can solve like most of the problem out there, right? And we can bring something like a much better solution for all the consumers as well, not just for the any third party producer on the supply chain management. So that's how we started the Ultra Five Technologies. So basically, Ultrafire Technology is a platform for farm-to-table track and trace solution, where basically we offer two uh, two functionalities. First is the track and trace, so the consumer and on the consumer side, they can get more information about the food that they eat to actually validate all of the data that's that was there about the the, the products, and for the supply chain management is where you know we give the direct uh, benefit to all of the producers, to all of the co-ops on any players on supply chain management by giving them a tool to actually manage the data and giving them a way, a, a data layer that they can trust and then for sure that it's been validated. So you've, you've chosen uh, Hedera to build your, um, to build this application on. What kinds of things uh, does Hedera offer that uh, made you choose to build on them? Uh, originally, we first like started out with um, Ethereum. So we built our application on Ethereum first. But then like after a couple of trial and after like talking for, to all of our user and clients, what we figured out is that Ethereum is too slow. And building on Ethereum means that we actually depend on the network a lot, but the transaction rate as well as, as, well as, as, well as the transaction fee as well, because we have to pay the gas fee for it, right? So that is when we started thinking, okay, so maybe blockchain technology is not mature enough for what we're doing. 
So we start, you know, looking around to see if that is the case or is there any other, you know, like blockchain out there that can actually help us with what we're doing. So we're actually, you know, like looking through like um, Hyperledger and then like I like um, and then on other like uh, technologies, other technologies out there as well in order to figure out which one is the best or probably going to be the best, right? That is when we came across Hedera Hashgraph. And what we are really impressed about Hedera Hashgraph is that the transaction rate is the first thing like straight out there. And the second thing is the transaction fee as well. Because that means that we will be able to, you know, like monitor and input the data, a lot of data for really like small cost. And the, the, the rate of it is going to be really fast as well. So that's exactly what we're aiming for. And I noticed, uh, you, you know, Otrify was part of the Helix Accelerator group that just finished up recently. Um, could you give us a little update or inside scoop on your experience uh, with Helix? So we, uh, we met the um, uh, CEO of Helix, um, Mark Cheng, when we was in um, Hedera 18 last year. Nice. And since we've been like involved with Helix and Mark, I would say that the experience was very wonderful. I think like we've, we've been surrounding with all of the entrepreneurs with the very same mindset and using the very same platform as well. So which means we have, first of all, we got a lot of support from all of the, all of the people that, you know, all of the companies that participated in the, in the Helix uh, Hashgraph itself. And second thing is the direct support from um, Helix is that we got to, you know, like the, deep into Hedera uh, Hashgraph to get more like, information and, you know, like very hands-on experience as well, as in like they, um, we have someone that actually, you know, sit there and, and teach us through all of the, you know, the, the behind the scene te um, technology, all of the logic that run behind Hedera Hashgraph and how to leverage it. And then second part that we got out here like, is all of the connections. So we get to really like a large connection of people, not just in Hong Kong, but also in the US that be able to, you know, help us to accelerate our company. For all the developers out there that are listening right now, um, what would you say are some, some of the better resources, uh, places to go for them to be able to uh, pick up the technology and um, get help from other members of the community and, and things of that nature? So I would say like Hedera uh, Hashgraph actually have like a Discord channel. And I think that that is a very like useful resource for us at first. And obviously we can always, you know, find all the tutorial and, and GitHub um, solution out there for, header, for the Hashgraph and how to use its uh, um, API and et cetera, right? But uh, from my experience, what I've learned most about is, you know, through the experience of others, people around me. So, you know, Hands-on experience is always the best, right? So yes, of course, we have to try it out, like using all of the resources on Google, but go and reach out to all of the, the, the colleagues out there, all of the other developers out there and ask for that experience. That would be interesting to hear as well. And we'll post uh, links to the Discord channel too and, um, and to the GitHub and some of those other resources that you listed uh, at the bottom of this YouTube video so folks can go check those out. So what is um what is next for Otrify? What's on your on your roadmap for the you know throughout the rest of 2019? Yes. So uh, through the rest of 2019, what we what we're looking for is we're actually raising a seed round right now, and we so there's a recent development is that we've been accepted to an uh, Iowa architect Iowa architect accelerator in uh the unit in the US. So we're probably going to spend the next three months in the US and trying to, you know, build our customer base there. And that's one thing that uh, we're looking forward to is that uh, we're looking forward to, you know, being live on Header Hashgraph itself. Like at some point this year, this is definitely one of our aim. Yeah. Very exciting. Very cool. Well, um, we are really looking forward to seeing all the progress that Otrify is going to be making and uh, we're watching closely. Very excited for you guys.